Okay guys, so welcome to another uh, part and uh, this actually is my uh, last week, like almost the last week of sculpting, so uh, I'm recording it uh, in from future, <laughs> like I would say, uh, because I did this sculpt uh, almost 10 days ago or more and uh, I've been sculpting for about one month or less a bit and uh, I think that this is mm, enough like I, I learned a, a lot and I will uh, also come back to this sometime uh, in future but still I don't know but uh, I've been sculpting one month and uh, I learned a lot and I think that this is enough for me for now and I want to try something different and uh, I will do some other like daily something maybe daily modeling or daily uh, I don't know <laughs> because I, I'm interested in in doing the environment or also level design like the, the stuff that is related to games and maybe daily uh, like programming but I, I, I'm not sure if it will be interesting because I also want to make uh, programming uh, tutorials but maybe not now uh, maybe in some future because I'm uh, now learning and I, I want to to show you something uh, useful <laughs> and and yeah so uh, maybe let's talk about the model so basically I made a, a dog and uh, his bread, bread you, I think you call it bread is a corgi and I made it, uh, I made corgi because I watched a, a really nice uh, animated movie uh, which is called uh, Queen's Corgi, Corgi, I don't know how to say it in English, like I think it's Corgi, Corgi and it was really really fun like uh, if you watch the minions is the basically the the creators of of the minions so yeah and i love i love the minions and that's why i also wanted to see this movie and basically uh, there was a dog like i don't want to spoil you spoil you uh, spoil the movie for you you just have to watch it guys but uh, this is not a spoiler, by the way, but there was a dog uh, and, he, he, and he was a corgi and uh, he was really cute and I, I wanted to sculpt, it, sculpt him and uh, yeah, this is like mm, his version when he was small because in the movie we met him when from his youngest days to, yeah, and uh, yeah, I made his smaller version and I think it turns out okay. I spent one hour on this, and I actually wanted. I, I thought that I can uh, also sculpt the body, his, his body, or at least the neck. But I didn't fit uh, in time. I, I like I didn't know that it was that hard. And yeah. And I still don't know, I didn't know how to approach it because uh, I wanted to sculpt him uh, smiling uh, because I, I saw the reference of him smiling but still I, I, I was thinking uh, to like to do the op with the open mouth or, or not to do with the open mouth but I decided to do uh, with the open mouth as you can see now, right now and uh, yeah, I, I sculpted this as a separate part to, to make it easier for me. Later, I will join everything together, but it's, it is always easier to, to sculpt uh, like different parts as the separate parts because they are not getting in the way. Yeah, and I played a lot with the shapes of his uh, face to make him more cute like to make him more resembles the the movie one 
and here I actually don't know what I am. Ah, yeah, I, I wanted to to make his uh, how do you call it cheeks uh, bigger. So I matched the face area because I, I don't I didn't want his eyes to change the place, and that's why I masked the eye eyes, and I make him a big a bit uh, fatter. <laughs> And I think he looks a lot uh, cuter, thanks to this. Yeah, and also, uh, the last thing I, I will say, that um, I wanted to make the fur, actually, using the blender hair particles, but uh, I still don't know how to use it, or like I tried at least to do it, but it didn't like i don't know how to use it it's it's hard i think for me like to make a decent decent uh, fur or hair but i will sure uh, experiment with that to see what what can i achieve but this may be in the future because as, as you know most of my characters that i was sculpting they they didn't have uh, like the hair or the hair was like stylized enough so i can basically sculpt the hair but more realistic hair is hard hard for me and uh, also i don't want to focus on the stuff that are not game game related because uh, those hairs that uh, you have in blender they they cannot be uh, exported to to the render render engine to the game engine and they are purely for rendering stuff in Blender and uh, well, if you are making game there's a, a fully different approach on making the hair it's basically they use the planes uh, as the hair like basic planes and they just put the picture of the hair on those planes yeah and it's already look like like the hair because hair are very expensive uh, in in game engines because they are hard to to like calculate and yeah and if you want them to like be affected by the wind or etc yeah it's like hardcore level stuff like triple a games level stuff not me i'm an indie uh, programmer <laughs> indie game developer okay so uh I think that uh, is it guys, I, I have nothing more to say, uh, enjoy the time lapse and uh, see you guys in the next one. And in the next one I sculpted, uh, what was it, uh, a, uh, a dragon and uh, you can see what I sculpted uh, on, on the Instagram because I post there first and then I post on YouTube. And yeah, I think it turn, turns out okay. The animals part were uh, really fun to make. And uh, I have one sculpt that I'm very proud of. And it will be uh, almost the last day. Uh, it's, it was the fourth day or fifth day. Fifth day of my sculpting. And it, it looked uh, really nice, I think. Okay guys, so that's is it and see you guys in the next one uh bye